over the past two years, we have lived in our 100 square foot truck camper with our dog, Barkley. Throughout all of the traveling and adventures, we have loved having a dog by our side. In this episode, we're taking him to the vet for his annual dental cleaning, so we figured it would be a great time to share our thoughts around living this lifestyle with a pet. We know Barkley is the star of our channel, so this video is all about him. We're going to go back in time, and then we'll see you back here at the campground. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Coffees have been secured. We both got cappuccinos with honey. And now we are at the car wash. If you guys have been following us for a little while, we've been needing this car wash for uh, at least a month. So finally we found a open one that fits our truck camper. We are cleaning her off because she has tons of snow, mud, dirt, and everything that you get when traveling cross country. So we're doing that now and we'll come out with a clean truck. I just went and got my hair cut because it's been a while since I got a trim and it feels so much better. And next door to the haircut place was a grocery store. So we figured might as well get that out of the way while we don't have Barkley and just can get the items that we need. But while we were there, the vet gave me a call while Barkley was under anesthesia because they had to pull some of his teeth. He ended up needing his back molar pulled when she called me, well, two of them and then one on the other side, and then he fell, I don't know what you would say, a year ago probably, going down some stairs and chipped his tooth. The other part was kind of lodged into his skin. She needed to go in there and cut it open and then put a stitch. So unfortunately, Barkley has to have four teeth removed. Not gonna be a fun bill. It is always sad whenever we get the call that he has to have some teeth pulled. He's had it a couple years ago as well, only like one or two. But this one's going to be a big one, and I have a feeling he's going to be in quite a bit of pain for the next couple of days. So we're going to be taking it very easy for him. We need to make sure that his teeth are healthy because he is almost 11 years old, and usually that's one of the first things to go on older dogs. So we're glad to get the old ones out of the way, and time to go pick him up. sleep let's go mm -hmm. thank you thank you let's go home <laughs> Doc said he did great. He woke up 
kind of instantly after mm-hmm. his anesthesia. Which and is he's a great just, sign. <laughs> and he's just been trying to recover. But overall, very successful. We have to keep a close eye on him for the next couple of days just to make sure no late anesthesia effects come into play. He should be fine. He's had this done a few times in the past. So we're going to take it easy and we'll see you guys back at camp. <laughs> We said earlier we got him some soft food because they said he needs to eat soft food for in the next two weeks um we got him some of these cans just to make it easy but they do say that we can use his kibble food and pour warm water on it let it soak and then it'll make it a little bit softer for him so that'll be really nice that we can use the same food but this is the exact same food he eats already just in soft can form so i think he's really gonna enjoy it because he hasn't eaten since yesterday so let's give it a try Ew. Ewy. <laughs> well, it seems he loves this food, so that is a great sign, and it's also a really great sign that he is hungry. Hopefully that means we are off to a good recovery. It's now almost 5 in the afternoon. We picked him up at about 2.45. He woke up from anesthesia around noon, so he had a couple hours at the vet under their care, kind of while he wore it off. And he's actually moving around really well. He's already gone to the bathroom. All looked good there. Stuff we got to check. And he is supposed to be on soft food for the next two weeks. We have his regular hard kibble, but we went ahead and picked up some canned versions of the same thing for these first couple of days just to help him out, and he seemed to love it so far, so that's a good sign. He's got a stitch on his lip, and then obviously the stitches from the four teeth, and those will just fall out over the next two weeks. So something we just have to watch is if he's picking at them or if he has some serious bleeding, but overall it should be a pretty minimal recovery, and we're hoping for the best for him because he's obviously the best little man. It's a nice little band-aid. <laughs> Pink looks good on him. <laughs> he is going to turn 11 in April, so we are just taking the necessary precautions we need to make sure he's healthy and happy, of course, because he is our little baby and we'd do anything for him. <laughs> we get a ton of questions all the time of his breed. He is a rescue, and y'all rescued <laughs> him at a few months old. Yeah. So we yeah. get long hair Chihuahua and miniature Pinscher a lot, but we also get a ton of comments saying that he's probably part Papillon and he's got a lot of like long haired dachshund tendencies. Yeah. So that's our best guess. He's a rare breed, <laughs> one of a kind, and I think he is the star of the channel. <laughs> I think everyone agrees with that. If you do, make sure to send him some treats in the comments. It's going to be a slow and short walk, that's for sure, but probably good for him to move around a little bit. It's going to help him still wear off the rest of the anesthesia, and then he's going to have a perfectly lazy night later. So we finally washed the camper a little bit. I kind of forget the whole thing's white. Yeah, I forgot it's white, not like beige or tan. Just Looks dirt. really good. <laughs> 
it walked around really well and like I said just a good start to hopefully getting him feeling back to 100% here in a few days. We did pick up some Thai food from one of our favorite spots called Little Holly's in Highland Ranch which is one of our favorite places that we used to go to whenever we lived in the Denver area. And we're going to hang out with him, give him the rest and recovery that he needs. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. We are going to be traveling tomorrow most of the day. So as we stop and kind of gather our thoughts on what it's like traveling with the dog, we're going to fill you in on it and just kind of stitch this video together over the next few days while we travel back to Texas. See you guys in the morning. Good night. <laughs> Everybody. It's moving day today. Barkley slept really well and he was pretty attentive this morning. He ate a good breakfast and now it's time to give him his meds for the morning. We have an anti-inflammatory and we have a pain med just so that way he can be comfortable on the drive today. We are looking at like six to eight hours of driving so unless he's noticeably uncomfortable we're gonna do that. If we need to change our route we definitely can. But we're gonna give him his meds this morning, take him on a little walk, and then we'll get in the car and hit the road. Yeah, he kind of just stuck it in this side, right? Yeah, there was just like a little gap in his teeth, and he just... Oh, you can't go spin me out. Kind of that way. Hmm. Shoot that in. Oh! Dark. Did I hit a tooth, maybe? Hold on, buddy. Sorry. Hold on, buddy. Good boy. There you go. See, not too bad. You want to lick it? Say, no, I don't want to lick it. Hmm. I don't think you can see that. Good yeah. boy. Yeah. Ready? Ready? Just one more. Okay. Yeah, this one's good too. The same way. Okay. This one's good too. Yummy. It's a treat. Yeah. That one tastes a little better. There you go. Good boy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> My parents. Yeah. Good boy. He's a good boy. Yeah. You want to go on the walk? That went really well. He honestly takes it like a champ because he knows it's gonna help him. So I gave him both of those. Only one is all day, 24 hours, and then the other one he gets at night for pain. So after that, we are going to take him for a nice walk. Everyone can stretch their legs before the long drive today. Good morning. I think that's his top speed for the day. <laughs> Classic Colorado fashion. It is very windy today, thanks to it being, I guess, spring season. And we always like to choose long travel days on windy days. So hopefully it dies down while we drive south, southeast. But it looks like it's warm. It doesn't really feel that warm because of the wind. It's showing like 30s today. So luckily it will be nice and warm in the car. And yeah, it'll definitely be warmer in Texas. <laughs> about seven hours today of travel time and that is if we go to our farthest destination. We do have two other spots picked out, one in northern New Mexico and one in Amarillo. So if we need to go a little bit shorter based on how he's feeling, we can do that. Side note, 
Colorado roads are terrible. We lived here for a year and I don't remember them being that bad, but I also didn't, but we also didn't drive a truck this stiff. Uh, these roads are horrible. <laughs> First fill up of the day. It is 11:20. We are just passing through Trinidad, Colorado, so we're about to cross over the border and leave Colorado, which is pretty sad. We love it here, but yep, just a little update. just had gas stop number two. The gas price here in Claude, Texas, just outside of Amarillo was $2.95, which seems to be pretty on par with everything else. And we just walked around, let Barkley out and stretched our legs. That felt really good. And we have about an hour and 15 left. Pretty good. Not eventful so far. <laughs> Day's going by pretty fast. We're listening to an audiobook called I'm Glad My Mother Died by Jeanette McCurdy. If you know her, she was from iCarly, the blonde girl. So to listen to an audiobook that she wrote about her life and everything about that is really interesting. And it really makes these drives go by faster than when we used to just listen to music. So big help. made it to a quick overnight spot here in Childress, Texas, just right along the highway. I think it's 287. That will run us all the way back towards Fort Worth tomorrow. It's going to be a shorter travel day tomorrow, probably about four hours. Ended up being closer to eight today just because, again, we do drive at like 63 miles an hour. But that's why we were able to get like 11 to close to 12 miles a gallon. Um, uneventful travel day. Barkley's doing great. He seems to be recovering better than expected, and that's always a great sign for us. We're gonna go walk him around for a little bit and then I think it's gonna be leftovers in the camper tonight just because it sounds easy and it's already, I don't know, 7.30. So no reason to try to cook anything this late. Oh my gosh, there are so many bugs. I didn't really miss those, but warmer weather's kind of nice. I think it's like 70s right now. So long sleeve at night and then during the day, short sleeves. <laughs> my body could use the sunshine. I am almost translucent. <laughs> Like Connor said, we just had leftovers and some pita bread to go with it to soak up the rest of the curry juice. And it was really good. We weren't that hungry tonight, so we just kept it really small and simple. And I did want to mention how lately, since the weather has been so warm, we have been using our bathroom and our like kitchen sink again. We didn't put any water in there, but we've just been using a jug on the side to wash our face, but we are using all of the pipes and that is so exciting. The first time we used the bathroom, I was just really happy to just be able to use our own home the way that we bought this thing for. So that was really nice to be back in that and just kind of know that we are kind of finished winter camping and the amenities that we bought this camper for are kind of back in business. So I'm excited to have my bathroom back. So with that side note, we're just going to hang out and finish the rest of our show we're watching. And we'll just see you guys in the morning with our tea. Good night, guys.
Good morning guys. We slept okay. There was a train nearby but luckily it didn't really run through the night and not too many cars. When we were first going to bed there was someone shooting off some gunshots for about four or five shots. Luckily he also stopped so we slept pretty good with all the other elements that I just said so it was nice. It's funny to see this park in the morning because we had no idea what it looked like last night and it's pretty nice. So we're gonna hit the road. It's about 7.30 and I think we have just a little over four hours today. Take you guys along on the beautiful Texas drive. <laughs> gas. It's just nice to uh, be able to get in and out off the highway really quickly. Mm -hmm. You definitely get a variety of rest areas, I will say. We've never stayed at a Texas one. I yeah, think. but for the most part, they're all pretty nice. All right, Bingle. <laughs> ready, Mark? Ready. Gotta put them in a headlock. <laughs> Oh, so he slinks out. Oh, you're fine. Good boy. Don't shake it out. All right, come here. You did it. This one is probably the most important because pain, but my gosh, is it so hard to get into his mouth. I think it's a syringe. Probably. And there's so much liquid. You really have to push it in for a while. <laughs> All right. You guys ready to you toss trash. this one? Yeah, we'll toss that one. Right. I feel like a doctor. It's like a doctor, is it? Maybe a nurse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you guys want to see the bathrooms? kind of like an attendant right there watching everyone enter and leave which is super nice it makes you feel pretty safe I don't know if you can stay overnight here but if you can that's really nice but in the bathroom they have about five stalls and three sinks and then a baby changing station which is really nice you can definitely tell this one is newer so if you're looking for other places to stop other than gas stations we highly recommend rest stops they are one of our favorites very quick medicine man should be about a four hour trip today it is slightly rainy out and pretty gray and decent amount of wind but the wind is heading from north to south so it'll be like at our side maybe at our back which is great better than driving in a headwind but we are really excited to have some time away from the wind i think it'll be nice to be at my mom's place for a few days and that way we can get everything kind of reset in the camper i know we did that not too long ago but we'll get to stretch out a little bit it's supposed to be in like the upper 70s so it's gonna be great for seeing friends and enjoying everything like that we're gonna get back on the road again nothing's gonna be too crazy there's no mountains to see i guess there's grass that's kind of new for us back to the highway <laughs> You guess there's grass, is that what you said? Yeah, it's like the only thing we can see. You hush. <laughs> this 
is stop number three for the whole trip, which is actually pretty good since we are getting pretty close towards the end of it. And the price today was $2.89, so it's going down a little bit. We had 11 and a half miles a gallon on that last tank, which is great. It's always nice whenever you're going down in elevation, whenever we came from Texas up to, I guess, Colorado, Idaho, Montana, we had not great gas mileage. A, because we're trying to figure out how what speed to drive with the new tires and also because we're going from low elevation to high elevation. So 45 minutes left. I'm excited to be out of the car for a little while. What do you think, Bark? Finally made it back to my mom's house here in the DFW area. <laughs> it feels so good to stand up, stretch out. We're gonna go ahead and start unpacking some things and we will see you guys tomorrow. We'll see you guys when we unload the camper and just talk more about what it's like to travel with a pet. Bye guys. Oh. <sighs> and <laughs> six loads of laundry later, we are back headed towards the storage unit to take the camper off for the final time. It'll be off for two weeks, just enjoying time with friends and family while we're here in Texas and just stretching our legs a little bit and enjoying the occasional shower and bathroom right outside of our bedroom, which will be really nice. And just letting the little man heal. He's he doing, doing, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> he's doing great. He's probably recovering faster than we thought. Yeah. He was going to. The stitches will still be in for a little while, so we're still taking it easy. Still on soft food, but he's moving around. He's going on long walks, and uh, now he's going to go help us take the camper off. <laughs> We just made it to the storage unit and first things first we are going to dump since they have that here and we were getting to use our bathroom towards the end of the Colorado trip I guess you could say it's always funny calling it a trip even though we live in the camper but I don't know what else to call it <laughs> so we're gonna dump here really fast and then start unloading the camper we have this pretty down to a good science I would say between the two of us so we'll see maybe how quickly we can get this off. While Connor gets some of the things set up so that we can drop the camper, I figured I'd tell you guys just some tips and things we've learned along the way from traveling with a dog. I know we've gotten a ton of questions how we do it, if it's worth it, or if we encourage other people to travel with a dog. I think it all depends on personal preference, first of all. I mean, for us to travel without Barkley, it would be very different. Things wouldn't be the same. I would really miss him, but also we would be able to do a lot more hikes without him, go to restaurants, things like that. And you also have to consider when and where you can leave him in the camper. You can't leave him when it's really hot out or anything like that. So we're constantly thinking about before we want to do something, if we can do it with Barkley. And if we can't do it with him, where can we leave him? And are the temperatures good enough? It's not the easiest thing traveling with a dog, but it is so worth it because he loves it. He loves the outdoors and just seeing his personality shine just hanging out with us, meeting new people, not really new dogs, he doesn't really love dogs, but just stuff like that, getting to take him along and have someone welcome us when we do leave him in the camper and snuggle with us on cold nights like the winter camping, it's, you know, we love it. We might not get another dog after him just because of traveling with him is a little difficult, but Barkley does make it very easy. So if you have an easy dog or you just can't live without a dog, we highly recommend it. It's worth it. I know Amelia was talking about it a second ago with traveling with dogs and everything, but it's one of the reasons that traveling during the summertime is our least favorite season. A lot of it has to do with the fact that if there's something that Amelia and I want to do ourselves, we're not always comfortable leaving Barkley alone in the camper when it's hot out. We do have fans, but we don't have air conditioning. So if we're up somewhere like Michigan, 
usually it's okay if we're not something like that and it is hot like being in Texas we end up missing out on a lot of things so we can stay with him so something to keep in mind Good, on the bottom? Yeah, oh yeah. All right. Woohoo! We did well? Main thing I say is just yell if something's gonna fall. Didn't fall. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that would help, honestly. If it's gonna fall, it's falling. Alrighty, she is down. It'll be nice not having to do this for the next two weeks and just soak in some family and friend time. <laughs> and barky time, of course. And the last thing that we'll touch on with having a pet and traveling with one is the expenses. Honestly, Barkley, we were just thinking about it, is pretty low maintenance, if you guys didn't know that already. For the yearly cost for him, it's probably two grand, which that includes, you know, the vet appointment, dental, and his food, which is pretty good. And of course the occasional treats. But yeah, two grand a year I feel like is pretty low for a dog. Obviously we budget for the vet appointments and the emergency things just in case something ever comes up, but fingers crossed it never has to come up and just the big expense is dental cleaning. <laughs> So yeah, if you guys have any more questions, leave them in the comments below. If we missed anything or you were curious about something else, but for the most part, he's a very easy guy, but your life does change a little bit when you travel with dogs. And just like that, the camper is off and we're gonna go ahead and end the video here. I know this wasn't the most exciting video, but it's just one of the realities of living in the camper full time is sometimes we have to get a couple states away. And while it's an easy drive, there's not really all that much fun stuff to film. <laughs> so we figured we would fill this video with some stuff about Barkley and just kind of some, some chats about traveling with dogs. We do love it, but like Amelia was saying earlier, we are probably gonna take a little bit of a break. Hopefully that's in like five to seven years. He's 11 now, and I think he's got a lot of life yes. left in him. But it's going to make it easier for us to do other type of traveling and just a couple years to be selfish to ourselves. Yep. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's just kind of the way it is. We would have filmed more of the road trip, but like we said, Texas really has not much to offer landscape-wise. So the second we left Colorado, we just kind of wanted to tell you guys more about realistic full-time and tips and tricks, basically. <laughs> We've done the drive from Denver to the DFW area numerous times. <laughs> if you have any like must-see spots or things to do along the way, please leave those in the comments below. I don't know when we're making that trip again, probably about a year from now. But if there's things that we're missing along the way, we'd like to hear them. Might as well try to figure out something to do <laughs> during that stretch of travel. Definitely. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you next video. Thanks guys for watching. We'll see you next week. Hope you have a large day.